Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dune 1J7, Marco Valentine, back with some more Assassin's Creed Unity gameplay. So Lee's chilling like a mug in the middle of the Cafe Teatre. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but who gives a fuck. So, so indeed. Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. Hmm. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. Always thought the scene was really cool. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. That can be clearly seen by the fact that you're a Templar. Templar. Do you trust me? Mm. I haven't changed that much, Elise. You can't say no to that sexy I'm thing. still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. <laughs> the same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they are not exactly going to be over the moon about this. But oh well, let's do it anyway. Fuck it, let's see what happens. It'll be a good laugh, at least. Hmm. Is that... Bloody Templar. What's he doing, really? Oh, uh, yeah, I knew they'd be pissed. Yeah. when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? Well, shit. Just take off that stupid blindfold, she already knows. The Templars have marked her for death, so you brought her here. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, <laughs> what have we here? Oh, oh hey My dudes. name is... For heaven's sake... Take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. <laughs> Oi. My name is Elise de la Serre. Yeah, it's morning or Saturday, so I don't know if everyone's still waking Grand up and whatnot. Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Hmm. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must. And we will, Master Kemar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de la Serre's daughter, I despair for our future. <coughs> yeah. Continue, Mademoiselle de la Serre. Oh, here we go. You are not the men with whom pick. I would normally parlay, monsieur. Eh, he's so cool. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Oh, as if Arno will let you do that. Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Blesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. Arno is I really do like the lighting sometimes in this game, especially like with the hood, like just, oh, like the silhouette on part of his face is just, ugh, it's what I love about just the assassin style and the hood, and the silhouetting of the eyes of, like a fucking badass, it's so fucking cool. Oh, aesthetics. <sighs> loading screens, and these, these I don't really like. <clears throat> But again, these loading screens are fucking nothing compared to the I shit I've been having to- I don't know why it is. Post in the comments if you're also having this problem. Probably not. I don't know. It's more likely just me. Because, like, all my other friends have still been able to access GTA Online. 
But whenever I try to do that, whenever I'm like on like the very beginning load up screen and I press square to make it start loading like online. What the fuck? Get back here, I wasn't done talking. Wait, you have to hear the end of my GTA 5 online story. Wait! Well anyway. Uh so yeah, but so, I don't know why it's been all, like, fucked up and whatnot, but, like I said, I freaking go to the loading screen, and, uh, percentage just, it's just, like, loading online, percentage keeps going up, up until 90%, and then it just stops there. It's not frozen or anything, there's still, like, different, like, little slides showing up, and the circle is still, like, swirling around and fucking whatever it does, but it's just, oh, sweet jump, bro. Anyway. But it just won't load, and that sucks, because I really would like to play GTA 5 online, but I can't, so whatever. So I've just been playing a lot of uh, Samurai Warriors 4. In fact, uh, also, I finished Oriimo just last night, and I watched the first episode of Samurai Champlo. It's fucking awesome. Mugen is, without a doubt, going to be my f best character that, like, entire series. What was that about? Sorry, Jin, but you're just not as cool enough and as crazy enough as Mugen. What? Not to mention, you don't have the voice of Spike Spiegel. Spike. Mother. Fucking. Spiegel. So, you know. But anyway. Oh, sorry, I'm talking in front of, uh, exposition again. My bad. So would I. Which means you would like to go and find this guy to kick his ass. Or worse. More than likely worse. Well, maybe not worse, you need information from him. So yeah, just kick his ass. Never mind. Uh, anyway, where's she going? Does she know a way in? MTA. Oh! Wow. Okay. That's easy. Thought there'd be, like, lockpicking or whatever, but Let's nope, go. apparently not. Anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah, so, me having watched, like, the first episode of Samurai Wars, now suddenly, uh, I kind of wanted to try making a, uh, Mugen custom character in Samurai 4. So, uh, I'm gonna start playing with him a lot and start leveling up and whatnot. But, uh, I don't know, of course in that game is... Like no naturally, it's just not gonna look like the dude looks in the anime. So, oh well, I tried. Doesn't look that great. I don't know, whatever. Oh, there's a dude there. Oh, okay, well, I guess he's just gotta die then. I mean, he was going to die anyway. What the fuck? Why didn't I freaking... What am I you doing wrong? There we go. Fuck. Anyway. So, I mean, either way, I was going to kill that dude, but I'm like, why... Damn it. Just wanted to stab you in the head. God, I'm just getting the shit kicked out of me. What the hell? No, you're not stealing my kill. No. Stop it. Mine. Aha! Got him before you could. Aha. It's a running competition between between the two of us. Well, that was bracing. Wow. Like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. Yeah, look at your fucking face. Holy shit. She is spotless and you are speckled. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. Hmm. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Hmm, detective work. I also like that about this game. There's a little more investigative stuff in it. It Box. just makes it seem cool. I like it. Go. Okay, well... Do that. Uh, crack my knuckles. Sorry. Mmm, that feels good. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Hmm, because lots of Templar Honor. stuff. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. Hmm. We have to tell Mirabeau. As as Whoa, we... shit. I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. And I like those transitions. Stay down. It's a pretty seamless transition from like the cinematics back to the uh the freaking like street. playable whatever. I like that. So where they do have, like, loading screens here and there, a lot of the time, you know, it just goes straight from, like, cutscene into the action. So I'm like, I like that. No. It kind of does balance things out. Well, yeah, of course, loading screens suck. But, you know, 
it's cool just not having to wait for every mission to load and just being able to jump right into it from friggin' cutscene. So yeah, I totally shot all those dudes. Yes, I believe so. I don't copy. I'm an original, damn it. Not really. Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, and that's a sage. the sage. Oh shit, more of these guys. Bartholomew oh, Roberts mission, wasn't enough. Now we have what's this dude? This, Sorry. this dude isn't gonna be as cool body. as Bartholomew Roberts, help. I can tell you that much. Bartholomew Roberts was the shit. Ah, oh, protect civilians by killing people. Yeah, die. <laughs> Wow, even peasants on the street are stealing my kills. That's mean, I shouldn't call them peasants. Maybe they more than likely are from the way they're dressed. So, you know. I don't know. Man, there really are a lot of people in this game. I just look around and I'm like, this is quite a bit of people. I don't know, you know, it may just be the same, like... I mean... Well, no, I think the volume of people in this game compared to previous Assassin's Creed, I think there's, I think there's more dudes. There's just a higher volume of people, making it seem like, I don't know, cluttered city streets is more realistic, it's cool. I don't know. I suppose for the most part, that's kind of what this game was trying to go for, is more of a realistic aspect. It's why they got, like, rid of some things but added a whole bunch of other stuff to just, I don't know. Like, you know, while I miss taking down people with my hidden blades, like, in combat, I have to realize that from a realistic standpoint, hidden blades are not made, they are not fashioned for, like, armed combat. They are fashioned to be stealth weapons to be used when the other person, when your opponent, is none the wiser. I mean, I said this before, but of course, in the Revelations trailer, that one Templar dude just one swing of a sword and you just clean, you just cleaved off Ezio's hidden blade like it was nothing. So I'm like, that's, whoa, okay, I was just walking on air. Walking on sunshine, whoa, and gotcha. I kinda wish you had the option to kill him, but okay. It's a little fucked up, but... Okay, whatever. Uh... Okay, well, yeah, I don't know, maybe I can make it to, like, the area where the mission starts for the end of this episode. I still have, like, a little under a minute left. Eh, we'll see! Might be a tight time frame. Oh, yeah, I'm right here. Oh, see, I can do this. I don't know. I might not start it, I may say that for last time, for next time, I don't know. Or maybe I'll start it, but then just continue it. Wait, did I just... Oh, no, it's there. I thought I passed it for a second. Yeah, hang on, sorry. Let me stop by this guy. Oh, uh, yes. Me and these guys are very well acquainted. Because <laughs> I am just constantly buying stuff from them. Okay, need medicine. Oh, I'm full on lockpicks. Surprising. Have I not lockpicked anything in a while? Eh, oh well. Hmm. Our mission starts here. Alright, I'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Laters!